Okay, so this is my chart setup for Friday, June 30th, the day before the July 4th holiday weekend. And my trading zone, as you can see, is 44.48 at resistance, 44.16 at support, okay? That's where the market is calculated to trade, is forecast to trade according to Taylor. And so the market came in, began the day pre-market above the trading zone, above the trading range, and then an hour before the market opened, really moved up much higher. So why? What, what happened? There was no news to motivate this kind of activity on behalf of the market. The market should have opened at equilibrium at 44.36. was nowhere near that at the open. And so on the open, my first inclination was, well, there's a wonderful gap trade opportunity here down from where the market opened at 44.68 down to 44.36. This is a 30 point, 32 point gap. Wonderful opportunity, except look what happened. Prices rose and they never came back. They never looked back. So what did I, what, what I'm, why is this? There's no news to motivate it. So what I did was not wanting to fight the market. I took my trading zone and I moved it up, transposed it to where the market was trading, which if you have seen my previous videos, you know about the Taylor Calculator trading zone, and you know about transposing it to the to where the prices are trading based on the intraday high or low. I won't go into that in that video, but nevertheless, this is where I calculated the market was going to top out. I transferred the trading zone when the market tested the intraday low over here at about 11 o'clock. That's when I, trans I transposed the tr trading zone and I found that the top should be somewhere around 44.97, which is exactly where the market topped out. But still, it was a mystery why the market traded up here and not down here where it should have traded. And then it came to me. It was because of the July 4th holiday. The traders are happy before a holiday. And if there isn't any bad news to counteract that happiness, that gemutlichkeit, if you understand Gemutlichkeit, the market wanted to go up, wanted to give itself a holiday, a surprise, a great weekend, a great way to start the weekend. So the market traded way up out of the trading range of where it should have traded. Okay, so that's, that brings us back to today. So let me go back to today, July 6th. Okay, so here we are, July 6th. Pre-market, as you can see, the market started out an hour before uh, two hours before the market opened, well below the int below the forecast trading zone, well below the previous day's close, which was over here at 44.82. What is going on? And the market, as the time came closer and closer to the opening bell, the market sank even further. And I'm thinking back, I'm saying, what the heck is going on? Now, there was a negative employment report then, but still in all, that report didn't come out until after this activity was going on. So what was motivating this activity to where the market dove down from, from where the forecast should be? Taylor is unusually accurate. And then I thought back, well, on Friday, June 30th, the market didn't do anything of what it was, what, what it was supposed to do. It didn't trade within Friday's trading zone. So maybe the market is going to trade Friday's trading zone today on July 6th. So what I did was I put the trading zone and the previous day's close, in other words, the Friday numbers, I transposed to today. And here they are. Okay. This is where the market should have traded on Friday. This is an exact replica of my trading zone for Friday with the resistance, support, and the previous day's close. And the market opened up here went down to close the gap at the previous day's close. Again, this was Friday's numbers, but I'm trading Friday's numbers because month because Thursday's numbers today, Thursday today versus Friday last week, Thursday today is not, is, is the market is not going to do that. The market is going to trade what it should have done on Friday. So look at this. The market closed the gap, bounced around at the previous day's close, what should have been Thursday June 3rd, June 29th close, bounced around there, and then sank further. And the market, according to these numbers, the market should finish the day somewhere around, not finish the day, but reach a point of about 44.14. That's where the calculations are if the market trades according to Taylor. 
a 32 point range. It's not today's numbers, it's, it's last Friday's numbers. And I went over this for the people in my trading chat room. And if you'd like to have this information, which is my expertise, my 20 years of trading experience, the Taylor calculator and my commentary, join the chat room at timelessdollar.com. Okay, so that's the video for today. Thanks so much for watching. Trade safely, use lots of patience, and I'll see you in my next video. Marv Eisen for Timeless Dollar Trading Academy.